Hello, this is Steve at Green Fuel H2O. I'm doing this video for Justin. He wanted me to bubble HHO through um, some different kind of lacquer thinners and that type of thing. And uh, to see if we could keep the a torch flame from flashing back. And uh, I wanted to show you um, what happens with lacquer thinner. So I went and poured some lacquer thinner in this bubbler here, and I'm going to uh, bubble the HHO through it and then out to my torch and show you what I got. First of all, let me show you my setup. Um, this, of course, is my torch, and the torch has a bunch of different tips, different size orifices. And uh, of course, my bubbler, it's got a flash board at the top for being safe. I'm um, also I'm using a flash arrestor here. And then, if we go over to my HHO machine, um, this is I actually just completed this. Um, just something I wanted to do for myself. I've been working on it for off and on for probably two or three months. I finally got something put together. Anyway, on the top of this, this is the top. I've got my fill right here for my water reservoir. Um, right here I've got a, a flash port here. And this is my HHO out. Um, on off switch, this, this here controls the, the amount of HHO it produces. I've got the, uh, this is a volt, voltage reading here, which basically just reads the volts from the wall. But uh, here's the amperage here. So I set this thing up to go uh, up to 15 amps, so it can be plugged into you know any wall outlet. I got the uh, wall out; it plugged into the wall right there. This here is a temperature sensor, it senses the temperature, and it's supposed to shut the unit off when it gets too hot. Um, so we look down inside. Do a little big picture there. See the, I got the a three quart reservoir here, um, and here's the cell. It's a 59 plate cell, and right here we've got a dryer and another flashback arrestor. Can never have too many safety devices, in my opinion. And I'm back behind it. Got like the electronics. There's a there's a AC relay there, and all the power connections back in the back. Up here on top, here's our bridge rectifier, which changes our AC to DC. Uh, you can see the variable controller box there. And then the, the two bottom of the, both the gauges there. Um, and then back in the back, there's our bubbler. And that might be... the top in there there is a sensor that um, will, will measure the pressure on the tank and what it does is it shuts the whole system off when it goes above uh, 3 psi so if you close the valve here to your torch it uh, will just reach 3 psi and then we'll shut off. That way you don't have to worry about anything <laughs> blowing up or hoses popping off, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, when Justin contacted me and asked me to do this, I was just finishing this up, so it's working out perfect for this uh, experiment. But anyway, I wanted to uh, go ahead and do this experiment and show you what the flame looks like. It's, uh, I've already done it. It's pretty cool. Let me show you. So I'll just go ahead and turn this on. Let me show you. Okay. So I'll just set it up here at about 10, 11 amps. And you can see that. You can see it just shut off there. It's already reached 3 psi. 
You should, I think it shuts off right around 2.5, comes on at 2. And you could, I could set it up higher if I wanted to, but... Um, okay, so let me uh, put this on a tripod. I just busted my tripod, so hopefully I can get this thing to work without it falling over. There we go, let's see. Okay. Alright, so I wanted to show you what it looks like with my smallest tip. I'm going to stick that on there. Let me light my flame here so that I can light the torch. Okay. Alright. Put this into the flame here. Okay. Let me go turn off the lights too. It's easier to see the flame with the lights lower. Okay. Turn that on. That flame there. That's with my smallest tip. What's interesting is this this blue flame right here. I'm not used to seeing that. You don't usually see that big blue tip with HHO. But watch what happens when I shut it off. Normally you would hear a crack or a flashback. This one here. See, it just shuts right off. pretty cool. And you can dial that down to just a tiny flame. Okay, I'll put on a uh, larger tip and show you. And also, it's cool to the touch. Put on a larger tip. I'll go for, uh, let's see, right about in the middle there. Turn that all the way up. Look at that. And, uh, hard to see the whole flame, but it's way out there. the middle tip. See that large blue cone there of flame in the middle. Really cool, but here we go. I'll turn it all the way off. No flashback. Do that again. No flashback at all. So pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how long this bubbler is going to last. Um, I've got the lacquer thinner in there again. Looks like it's turning blue so it's kind of reacting with my air stone in there. But I put on my larger tip. So this is my largest tip. Okay. See that little tiny flame on there? Let's see if we get a flashback with that. No flashback. It's just really cool. Okay, I'll flip that all the way up. That flame. Just monstrous. Dial it back down with no flashback. What I think is the coolest, and this is what he wanted me to check, to see if we could use this gas in a colon, or not a colon, but maybe a uh, 
a burner, an HHO burner, so that we could use it for cooking or heating or that sort of thing. Watch this, no tip at all, so as you can see, that's a pretty big hole. Okay, and go ahead and light that. Look at that. So basically, there you go. There's your burner for cooking. And watch this. That is just crazy. And with that big, huge hole in it, take a look at this. No flashback. Go, I can dial it down to that little tiny flame. And up to that big flame. So, way cool. Anyway, I have no doubt that I can, uh, that I can stick this on a uh, uh, one of those small portable gas grills. Can use it. Can use this for cooking, for heating. The only question is, how long will the gas in the bubber last? I don't know that yet, but it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, another thing I might mention, because um, people are going to ask this. I'm going to go ahead and upload this to the public channel. Um, people are going to ask how many liters a minute I'm making, so turn this on, so we'll kick back on there. So we figure about uh, 200 watts per liter. If I take 13 times my voltage there, on 8, I get 1500 watts divided by 200 so I'm producing about seven and a half liters a minute uh, so just to let you know that it's a lot of uh, a lot of HHO production is needed for that flame that I just showed you um, and then you know it, it is a lot of wattage too but uh, interested in what you can do with the HCAT on this uh, and if the uh, HCAT will work with this type of flame. Anyway, thanks Justin. Uh, hopefully I uh, helped you out. And for all those watching, thanks for watching my video.